After all the practices, the waking up before sunrise, the lifting weights, the scrimmages, the game planning and strategy, as the players walk the halls of Bradford Academy, there's one thing that is on their mind, and that's game day. Now is the time for players to meet in the gym and to bond together. Make sure not only mentally they are prepared, but that the body will follow. The leader of the Bulldogs, Coach Key, has particular tradition that he has kept up since taking over the program. Win and win big. That will set the tone for the rest of the year. Um, they're actually a good team, you know, so I expect uh, some heavy competition. I expect uh, for them to come out, you know, not giving us anything. Uh, they're coached well, you know, so I just believe that coach is going to do a great job, you know, we're coaching them up and all that type of stuff. And, um, you know, just whatever we need to do to get the job done, I think that's uh, what we just got to make it work. Um, but I just believe that Depsa is uh, some good competition. And, uh, you know, they're not like pushovers or anything like that. So I expect a good game. I'm um, going to be playing a king, uh, another four-way classic type thing, kind of like a Wayne State that's going to be a king. So it's four different games that, that, that uh, is going to be played. You know, there we're in the third slot, which is a five o'clock slot where we play Depsa. Um, so it's going to be high intense. Uh, a lot of people going to be there. So it's going to be all good. Third and three for Bradford, just inside of depths of territory on the 49. Shotgun formation, three receiver set, three man depths up front. Chest high snap, Rhodes cocks his arm after a two step drop. Let's go a rainbow down the far sideline. And he overshoots the intended receiver, Jacob Winfrey, by about five. Winfrey was at the 25 with green grass ahead as these teams continue to feel each other out. Let's go, defense! Hey, come on, let's go! Let's go. Second and 10 from the 40 yard line for Depsa. Pistol formation, three receivers set. Bradford stacking the line. Cobb spirals down, lock it in the backfield for a loss of two on first down. The junior in the backfield for Bradford Academy. Lock it, three step drop on the near hash marks. Cox the arm, let's go a high arching spiral down the far sideline. It's hauled in at the 14, and it's Trayvon Washington, the 6'4 receiver, who makes a remarkable leaping grab, falling onto his back with a hand in his face for a gain of 32 yards. With first down and depths of threatening, Bradford's first test comes early. And now they find out who will step up to the challenge. Football is about matchups. Mano, Imano, and Depsa thinks they have the matchup they want against senior cornerback Eric Smith. Eric is the first to follow through. With the end of the first quarter, Coach Rucker wants to make sure the defense follows through like Eric. Play smart and disciplined. Lockett turns to his left, hands off to Robinson, who scoops his way in, finding a gap inside of the end zone, and it's a six to nothing depths of lead. First score of the day, and it goes on the depths of side. So Depsa unsuccessful on a two-point conversion, still a 6-0 lead. Bradford looking to answer back, first and 10 from their own 42. Shotgun formation here. 
Ursi Rez called in motion. Here's a handoff to Red, the speedster running laterally along the 38 yard line. Cuts up the middle to the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25. Hits the 20 to the 15. Drag down from behind at the 11 yard line of Depsa. It's a 31 yard gain. Percy Red, a spectacular run, tackled from behind. A 31 yard gain for Bradford and they'll set up inside of the red zone. With Bradford being in unfamiliar territory, being down 6-0, they finally have some momentum and are in position to finally score. Bradford lining up from the depths of 19 shotgun formation. Rhodes pointing out signals. Three receivers set. Takes a snap, rolling to his right. Pressure is on him, unable to evade the pressure, and he drops back for a loss. Bradford Academy in tough position now. That'll set up fourth down. Fourth down here, the depths of defense is looking to make an important hold after a 31-yard gain that put Bradford inside of the 15. Self-inflicted harm has since put Bradford back to their own 26 on fourth down and 14. Here's a drive over the middle, caught by Wolford. It'll be a 10-yard shy of a first down, giving possession back to Depsa. What a hold there. First and 10 from their own nine. Depso with possession, a pistol formation, five-man Bradford front. The Bulldogs bring the heat. Lockett is flushed out of bounds. It'll be a loss of seven back at his own two-yard line on the near sideline. Still struggling to put points on the board. The defense stays smart and disciplined. They give the team another crack at the end zone. From the depths of 22, Rhodes in the shotgun with the red number one on his back, right to left. Rhodes takes a high snap, tucks it in the belly of Javon Wilson, who cuts his way up the middle between the hash marks, cuts outside to the 15, down to the 10, spiral down, and an excellent gain there. It's once again Javon Wilson, the speedster, and it's a considerable gain for Bradford Academy. Well, uh, it all starts up front, you know, whenever the offensive line is doing, are, are doing what they're supposed to do. Um, it kind of opens up, you know, the uh, positioning for everybody else. So I think that once the offensive line you know, kind of got that spark to do everything that they were supposed to do, which we knew that they can do. Um, I think that opened up the holes for j -Mon to, you know, really take care of business and get open and, you know, kind of do what he do with the ball. But obviously if the offensive line is not taking care of business with anything, um, you know, you can't run, you can't really do anything. So I kind of preach with the offensive line, you know, that it all starts with you. you know, we can't do anything without you. Um, so I think that they kind of took that to heart. They did everything that they were supposed to do, so I think that's why we had the success. Once they took care of business, j Mom was able to take care of his business. So work in the Bradford in the I formation, first and goal from the depths of six. Rhodes turns to his right, hands off to the fullback, Barry. Between the hash marks to the five, to the four, extending his arms. Did he get in? He did. Touchdown, Bradford Academy. The first of the season, it's the senior, DeCaris Berry, muscling his way in, and we're tied at six. Goal line sets on both sides. Two-point conversion attempt here from Bradford Academy. Looking to take the lead. Here's Berry on the snap. Once again, he dives over the tackler into the end zone, and Bradford converts, and they take an 8-6 lead on the two-point try. First and 10 from the depths of 30 here. A wildcat formation, empty backfield for Red. They'll bring Harris in motion from right to left. Here's the fake handoff inside. Red, veering to the far sideline, cuts inside of the 25, now to the 20, to the far sideline. That's it the hash mark to the 10, to the five, diving in the first of pylon. Did he make it? Touchdown, Bradford, and they extend the lead. And the Bulldogs strike again. In sports, one of the intangibles is momentum. And with Percy Red scoring, it seems to have elevated their defense even more than what they were doing. Just ask, Kadeem Tex. 16-6 Bradford leads, second quarter. Momentum beginning to shift in favor of the Bulldogs. 
Here is Lockett rolling outside, and he's whacked, and he'll be brought down. It's Kareem Tex hit right on the number there. And Bradford celebrates after that one. Y'all playing at their level. We up only 10 points, man. Last time we was up, I don't know, 35 points. I'm not satisfied with what's going on. We beat the last team that we played in the opener 52 to nothing. Y'all gonna have to turn it up, man. Quan, man, I need more sacks, man. I need more tackle. Vic, I need more action on defense. Linebackers, I need more action. DBs, you're gonna have to step it up, man. You already know that they got taller receivers, so y'all gonna have to turn it up. Offense, we gotta block harder. Harder, I'm not satisfied. We score one time, or two times, two times, and two points of burden, that's cool. That's cool, but last time we scored like five, six, seven times. Eight times. We gotta turn it up, man. I'm not satisfied. All right, every play counts. Every play is for your highlight film. Every play is for your teammate. Every play is to win this game. Don't let up, don't let up. I'm telling you, don't let up. Because if you let them, if you let up, they have an opportunity to make some scores and all that. They already, already scored one time. And that was terrible. That's because we was out of position and we ain't played the ball like we've been taught. I'm just saying, we shut off defense. We've always been that way. Y'all gotta step it up, man. I don't care how tall they are, they can be six, seven. And our guys can be five, four. You're gonna have to find a way to get the job done. That's not the standard that we set when we left last year. That's not the standard that we set with this program. Defense, y'all need to turn it up. Y'all got me? Y'all got me? Let's go. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go, man. Hey, brother. Let's finish the game, all right? We got the game sparked. Let's finish it. Now you're going to see, gonna see who in shape, who tired, who ain't going to finish the game. Everything is about finishing. All right? We need another 16 points on this board, and they got a couple yards. All right? Both sides of the ball. Good job from pressure. Let's keep it going. I'm going to keep seven on defense. Let's run around, play hard, get tired, tap out. Got it? Let's go. Let's go. Big dogs on three. Big dogs on three. Big dogs on me. One, two, three. Big dogs. Hey, hurry up. Guys, got stretch. Not satisfied. The standard for the program. Find a way to get the job done. Those are the inspirational and instructional views of Coach Key. How will they respond? Opening possession of the second half here. Depths with possession, first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. Lock it at QB, pistol formation here. Turns right, fakes inside, immediately twirled down by the pressure of big number 73, Aquan Todd, who picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Radford first down from the depths of 44, a shotgun formation here for the Bulldogs. Norwood is called in motion, high snap, fakes inside. Running along the hash marks, here's Wilson. Along the hash marks to the 30, tripped up down all the way at the 25. Uh, Depths, a big run there, he finds a hole. And that'll be down to the 24 as well, they'll mark it. Bradford on the goal line, first and goal, 10 point lead. Here's the handoff to get it, Kadeem Tex, who finds an easy route into the end zone, powering his way. Uh, up the right side of the line, into the end zone, to our right, and the Bradford lead grows to 16. It's a 22-6 third quarter lead for the Bulldogs. Rhodes, empty backfield from the depths of seven. Fakes inside, finds a gap and a hole up the middle, and he's inside of the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Not entirely satisfied. Check. The standard for the program, check. Find a way to get the job done, check. The Bradford squad is checking all boxes and following through on Coach Key's demands. And the defense, three-step drop, Lockett cocks his arm, floats up a pass that's softly underthrown and intercepted by Quintez Harris. Up to the 35, 40, 45, 50, across midfield to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Down the far sideline, out to the numbers to the 10, 5. Brought down on the far sideline, inside of the 5-yard line of Depsa. Hey, bro. 
I need a I need a touchdown, man. Bro, that was almost yours, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I, it was easy. One last shot for Depsa to try to get in the back of the end zone. This is first down. A heave from the 20 yard line from Lockett to the left corner of the end zone. Broken up in on the coverage was Marcus Norwood, and he waves his arm, saying no to that Depsa try to the back of the end zone. Bradford Academy in victory formation, up 30 to 6. Looking to close off an opening week victory. There's the kneel from the quarterback, Shimon Rhodes, who made his first career start as a senior today. He'll walk off the field, take his helmet off, and the Bradford Academy Bulldogs will celebrate this one. It's a 30-6 opening week victory to put Bradford at 1-0 on the year under head coach Kyrie God. Hey, man, I'm not satisfied. Like y'all, I mean, it was cool. Still not satisfied, really. Because third quarter, honestly, I don't know, man. We came out 52. I think the first year, first year we won 50 to nothing. Second year, I think it was 42 to nothing. Third year was 52 to nothing. This year it was 30 to six. What they do that at? That's not what we. That's not what we do. And this is a good team too. This ain't like they was some scrubs. So I understand that it was some balance to it. But we better than a lot of teams that's out here. Alright? <laughs> so all the jumping and flipping and all that type of stuff, I'm happy that we got the dub, that's cool. But I'm not satisfied with how we how we how we got it. Because I know that we're better than that. So we're gonna have to turn it up. Alright? We're gonna have to turn it up a little bit. Alright? Because next week is Wall Lake Norman. They're not going to be as like, like them. They still some scrubs. So if you happy or you content with how you play, <laughs> next week we really going to be into a, a struggle or a fight. And I don't even know what's going to happen with that if you content with what's going on. Not being complacent is the motivating factor for the next game. Bradford takes on Wald Lake Northern next.